Welcome everybody to the Ecolinguist live show. Welcome again. Uh, this is the show in which uh, you can call in to the studio and we can improvise some language challenges uh, here live. So you are welcome to do that. Uh, I see so many of you joined already, 73 people watching right now. So uh, thank you for coming. It's always so much fun. Uh, it's always some... Oh, sorry, I just check, checking if my Mac is working, but it seems to be working. It's always so much fun hanging out like this. Uh, I hope that you guys are going to be calling in today as usual. But uh, today we also have a special guest, as you already know from the thumbnail. Uh, Laura from Couch Polyglot YouTube channel is visiting us. So uh, I'm going to introduce you to her in a, a second. Uh, but you probably know Laura already because she's been uh, in many of my videos uh, on the channel. So. I'm sure you're going to recognize her. Um, yes, so for all of you who would like to join us in a conversation and uh, language fun tonight, uh, you can do that by registering with the Ecolinguist uh, live show through the link that you can find in the description box. Uh, so after registration, you're going to get a link to this software that we are using tonight to be able to call into the show live. So you're welcome to do that. You just need to fill it in and you should uh, get the link uh, either by email or at the end of the, uh, of the registration form, it should appear on the screen. So uh, please check it out. And by the way, if you... Um, if you've watched these shows before, if you participated before, uh, you don't have to register. So just use the same link that you, you have, that you have saved. Um, or maybe you are um, watching, uh, the person who already been on the show in some capacity uh, uh, is watching. You're also welcome to call in and uh, we can catch up. So that's great. And because we are going to have our guest today, who is a polyglot. Uh, let me actually introduce Laura now because it's a good <laughs> moment. Uh, Laura, here you are. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Laura. Nice to be here. Nice to see you here uh, on the Ecolinguist Live. Uh, yes, you are a polyglot. So in tonight's show, we, mm -hmm. are, we will be able to improvise lots of different formats with you That's because cool. you're uh, multi multilingual so maybe uh, just tell us a little bit about yourself where are you from and what languages do you speak mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Hi, guys. Uh, I'm Laura. Uh, my channel is called Couch Polyglot. And that's because I really like learning languages in a chill way. I'm not a perfectionist. I don't want to, you know, be in a C2 for each language. I think that's fine to, you know, communicate and have fun with learning languages. I come from Barcelona. I've been living in Germany for almost 10 years now. And I speak several languages. Maybe my best languages apart from Catalan and Spanish are German and English, but also I speak French, um, Italian, Russian, and right now I'm learning some Swedish. Yeah. Great. So you speak uh, languages from all three language families that are featured on the Ecolinguist channel, yeah. right? So basically anyone can call in tonight and we can improvise some sort of a yeah. challenge together. Uh, and, you know, we, we are able in this live show, we are able to do formats that uh, uh, you can watch on the channel. So we can do the traditional, like, like the classic Ecolinguist mutual intelligibility format. So yeah. we've got the, the space for that. So we just need, miss some <laughs> people here. Uh, we can do uh, the language continuum show that looks something like that. This is the the, the format that we create like a, a language chain so people explain the words to each other through um uh, from one language to another you know and then at the end of the of the chain we can see if the the word is still the same uh, uh so you know it's like a broken telephone kind of uh, game yeah, that cool. we used to play so we can do that and you know this is happening live so we can always improvise and just have fun with languages, you know. Uh, so yes, everybody, you are welcome to call in anytime. Uh, also welcome all the people um, in the chat. 
I see that you are chatting uh, here a lot. So it might be difficult for me to read all the comments and all the, the messages in the chat. So if you have any questions for me or for Laura, uh, just put a queue in front of the question. So when I'm browsing through me messages, I will, will see that this is a question for us and it's not between uh, all of you uh, talking um, to each other. So if you have a question for me or to Laura, just put a queue in front of it and I will be able to, to, to find it easily in the chat. Um, great. So, Laura, you, you have a YouTube channel, right? And you share yeah. language tips there and you, you also speak languages there, right? Like, yeah, what like languages, it's a mixture. Yeah. What languages yeah. are your videos in, actually? Well, it's, it's, uh, I wouldn't say it's a mess, but it's like multilingual. So um, yeah, right now I'm doing some videos on my uh, Swedish progress or uh, last year I was doing Italian progress videos, um, how I learned French, how I did the B2 exam in French, for instance. Um, I teach German uh, in some of the videos. I also teach Catalan and Spanish. So it's, it's very mixed, let's say, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like my channel, right? Like you can <laughs> yeah. hear all kinds of languages here and uh, it's, you know, um, it's interesting that it doesn't seem like people would want to watch something like that, but <laughs> yeah. there's so many people interested like in languages and uh, watching multilingual content, you know? Yeah. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. I've actually thought a lot about, okay, it would be better if I had just done, you know, a channel in one language, but I just felt that it would be very boring for me. <laughs> and I also created the channel to have fun. And yeah, so even yeah. if it maybe doesn't really make sense, I just keep it like that. <laughs> yeah, I, I've seen uh, your videos recently, especially now you, you, you passed 20,000 subscribers. So yeah. Congratulations. Yay. Yes. Thanks. Uh, yeah, and you've been on my on my channel uh, multiple times. Actually, I I, I can't yeah. even remember because uh, it's been, uh, been happening. It's been happening over time, you know. Uh, yeah. But is there any video that you remember that uh, um, uh, um, kind of uh, the ones we made? You made the most you memorable. Made? Yeah, the, the ones that you were participating in because you were well, mostly a participant. You were a guesser, like you yeah, were guessing. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, the last one was Arpitan. I guess the first one I participated in, I now don't remember which language it, it was. I think it was Abruzzese. Um, oh, we had the f one of the first yeah. ones, I think. It was Abruzzese dialect. I was super dialect. nervous. I was super nervous because I, it wasn't live, but it was like lifelike. And um, I am a polyglot, but I'm not a good one remembering words so i was like also the times i participated it was like i understand what you're saying but i cannot remember certain words and yeah so i was really nervous because it was live and, uh, not live but like it's just one shot you know when i'm recording my videos if i make mistakes just yeah. cut them out right <laughs> so, but it was a great experience and it was fun it's always i love understanding all the languages i also in my channel i had like a conversation in occitan like occitan catalan or I understand Portuguese, I don't speak it, but it's like wonderful. Like I get really excited when I can understand all the languages that I haven't actually learned. So that's really cool, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing because after working so much on the videos, uh, you know, I edit them. So I have to listen to to, uh, to those videos yeah, yeah. like multiple times and, <laughs> uh, and synchronizing the captions and stuff, even though like I'm not actually actively learning those languages. Uh, today, yeah. you know, in preparation to this show, I, I, I watched your Q&A from uh, the, ah. the, the most recent video and you spoke uh, French there. You just switched yeah. to French at some point and I was like, oh my gosh, I understand like most of it. I know the context. Uh, cool. I know what you're talking about. So, yeah, that's that's amazing, you know, to, 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 to be that's able to great. understand a language, even though, you know, you, you haven't really been actively studying it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's that's a really cool uh, thing. Um but you've been learning so many languages, right? So is there any language that uh, you have a, a, like a particular mm -hmm. um, sentiment about or? Mm. Well, for me, it's like that. Like whenever I start a new language, like when I started Italian, I fell in love with it and I was obsessed with it. And then at some point when I reached like a B1 or B2, it's like, 
it's nice and I want to keep it, but like I need, <laughs> I need a new one kind of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, uh, and, and that's right now for Swedish. Like right now, my favorite language is, is Swedish because it just sounds, I feel like, I know it's subjective, but I feel like it sounds so beautiful and I just can't stop listening to, to podcasts, to music. So I wouldn't say I have like a favorite language. Like for me, Catalan is also very important because like that's the language I, I grew up in. Mm -hmm. uh, but I also love Spanish. I, I love German. Like I for a while, I was really in love with German <laughs> somehow. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, it just keeps changing. I wouldn't say I have a favorite one, but it, it changes. Right now, maybe it's Swedish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just because you're actively learning it at the moment. Yeah, because I'm in mm -hmm. this discovery phase, you know, where it's new, I'm understanding and it's uh, exciting. Just, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is my my favorite part about learning a language, like discovering the language. And you actually yeah. make su such a quick progress, you know, at yeah. the beginning. And this is fascinating, yeah. Yeah, I'm not actively learning at the moment uh, any, any language. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to kind of maintain what I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because that's another challenge. So, so, yeah. um, so, you know, German. You speak German very well because obviously you live in. Mm -hmm. in, in it's Germany. like the language I also speak at home uh, mm -hmm. with my partner. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, I still make mistakes. Uh, it's like I said. For me, the issue is that I'm not really that much into grammar. So I reach like maybe in German I reach like a C2 like maybe like in C1 sorry I, I mm -hmm. don't go up to C2 somehow like it's hard for me and I don't like there was a point where I was like maybe it would make sense to just go up to a very high level of German and just stop learning other languages but mm -hmm. it just didn't feel right for me like I prefer speaking more languages but not reaching that almost native level um like that's my choice, but I understand some people are like, why are you learning Swedish? It doesn't make any sense. Like it doesn't have to make sense. It's just fun. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I totally agree because if you really want to, you know, reach very high level, uh, in any language, you have to dedicate your, your life to it, you know? Yeah. Uh, so there are people who specialize, they make it, uh, into their careers. They become yeah. translators, they translate literature, they're going very deep into the, the culture, the history, the, uh, yeah. the et etymology and stuff. So, um, so yeah, some people just prefer to stick to one language, uh, yeah. because it's, yeah, one, 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 uh, foreign language can you know keep you occupied for yeah few decades. i mean it could keep you even your native language could keep you occupied forever like there are certainly many words and rules i don't know and the thing what you mentioned you want to maintain your languages and that's really like a challenge too because at some point i think i also will have to either stop uh getting new languages in or just be like okay i'm gonna forget this one and it's okay you know because I don't feel like I can just keep adding them and maintaining them forever. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I'm choosing actively, I'm choosing uh, like easy languages. Like for instance, Swedish is very similar to German or, you know, Italian was very similar to the other Romance languages I speak, but I'm doing that on purpose because I also kind of don't have that much time to dedicate to it. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, it's mm -hmm. difficult. <laughs> Yes, yes. So, so I'm trying. I, I'm trying to to catch up with uh, my la my languages that I I've, I've studied before, and kind of recently I discovered that there is so many movies and TV shows and cartoons uh, uh, dubbed in Hungarian wow. on Netflix. On Netflix specifically, like you can just just look for uh, Hungarian dubbing. And it's kind of funny because uh, I checked that like one year ago or two years ago and they didn't really have that much, uh, oh. but you know, they've made lots of progress, uh, since nice. then. And I picked uh, the, the show, uh, the weirdest show to watch uh, in Hungarian. <laughs> okay. Uh, it was a man, man versus B it's, okay. it's, it's with, uh, um, uh, Mr. Bean. Oh, comedy. okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah, because I've heard the trailer was in Hungarian and, and stuff and was like, yeah, excited, like I'm going to watch this. And it's kind of funny because it turned out it was mostly about like physical comedy and there was oh. almost no dialogue. <laughs> oh, no. 
Yeah, so I think you need to be careful, you know, picking your um, yeah. the materials that you want to learn languages from. Yeah, I actually, I don't know if you play video games, but I like playing video games and I try to play them in different languages. And once I tried to play one in Russian, but I was really frustrated because I, I couldn't understand what I had to do, basically. So then I switched it to Italian and then it was fine. But yeah, so sometimes it's either too difficult or just too easy yeah what kind of games uh well just i have like this steam and just um, i don't even know how those type of games are called but like um i really like uh ori and the blind forest or um, i don't like Ad Knight. adventures <laughs> i don't know if you know Ad yeah like adventure adventure, adventure game. Mm -hmm, yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah uh okay that's that's interesting you know because um I have I I I recently got a, a console and started playing you know with with friends, but mm -hmm. this kind of games not all games are good for no. language learning you know, and I would wouldn't really <laughs> enjoy games that you have require you to read a lot, mm. you know I would rather like listen to the dialogues, yeah um, yeah, but I recently been thinking about maybe using The Sims. To, oh to, yeah. Yeah, I you know I haven't played it since I was like a teen, so I don't really know what what happened. Uh, but I I realized that it could be a good way to get exposure to very like basic vocabulary, uh, yeah. because it's a life simulation. Have you ever played The Sims? Yeah, when I was a teenager. So. Yeah, long ago, right? I, remember, I mean, <laughs> yeah. It yeah, was long ago, yeah. Ba back in the day, uh, it was big. <laughs> I guess it has a big comeback now. Uh, you know, it's not, I guess it depends how you play it, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, but I, yeah, I'm, I'm considering like trying to use that to, to, to learn maybe, um, play it in the, in the Czech language, for example, in the Czech oh. version, because the Sims are available in multiple different languages. Mm. So. Maybe. That's good because, for instance, I don't think there are many games. Well, I hopefully I'm wrong, but like maybe in Swedish or I don't think there are many in Catalan, for instance. Like if you're learning like a smaller language, it's difficult mm -hmm. to find the games in that language. Yeah, I actually ch checked the, the list of languages that The Sims are available in and it's not really very impressive, to be honest. Oh, no? No, no. Uh, it's very, very short. From Slavic languages, there is only Polish, Czech, and Russian, I think. Oh, okay. Um, and then I think maybe French, Japanese, I know. Something like that. Oh. But it, it wasn't impressive. It's not like you can play it in any language you want. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's a pity. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's interesting. Uh, someone is recommending, oh, Yelchin, RPGs are the best for language learning. I think that's actually what I'm playing, but I'm so bad at this kind of terminology. I think it's RPGs because you're, yeah, you're kind of, you know, discovering the world and that having conversations a lot and, ah, go and look for this object or whatever. Um, uh -huh. And it's it's pretty good and yeah it's it's fun. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a it it sounds like it then. Um, so RPGs, so like the the Witcher or this kind of thing, I guess you go on. Adventure. Yeah, or like uh, like my first game I really enjoyed was Final Fantasy uh, Ten, I think it was. It's mm -hmm. like you discover the whole world. You have like a final mission and you have like small missions too and. There's a story, so it's not like just shooting. I don't like that personally, but if like there's a story and yeah, it's cool. And I kind of use it like, I don't know how you learned English in, in Poland, but in Spain, like in people my age, some of them are not so good at English. And I actually didn't learn it very much at school either. Like I learned it by reading Harry Potter or uh, watching TV series I enjoyed playing mm -hmm. video games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Like doing things you enjoy. So I think it's the best way to learn languages. Yes, definitely. You have to enjoy enjoy that. Uh, actually, I see someone is, is making the first call. Ooh. So I'm going to to, to add um, Ildar uh, to the stream in, in a moment. But for everybody else, you know, everybody else, if you want to join us, remember there is a link in the description 
box where you can find the registration form and this way you can get the link to be able to join us and we can improvise some language challenges together. Uh, so yes, please do that. Uh, and just uh, let me add Ildar. Uh, one second. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, one moment. Where are we? Yes, I just have to make sure that it all looks good. Okay. Hello, Ildar. Hello. Hey. <laughs> hey, how are you? Uh, it seems fine. I... All, all uh, good, all fine. Yes, I think you called us before. I don't remember if it was the Ecolinguist yeah. Live or the, the, the Slavic Languages Hub channel because yeah. you, you've been on both, right? Yes. Uh, so, Ildar, where are you call calling from? What languages do you speak? Just to remind everybody. Yeah, uh, at this moment I'm calling from Moscow. Um, my mother tongue is Russian. I also speak Ukrainian, and uh, I uh, and, and of course English and a little bit Polish. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's good. So so uh, Laura, you speak Russian, right? How is how good yeah. is your Russian? Okay, uh, I think it's like a B one, more or less. B1. Like mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. think, yeah. Let's mm -hmm. see. <laughs> so, should I now switch to Russian or? So, what we can do, what we can do maybe, um, because, um, because it's uh, Russian and I, you know, I haven't really studied Russian, but I can understand more or less. Maybe, uh, Ildar, you could improvise uh, some sort of challenge for us. You could. Um, Maybe think of a word, okay? Mm -hmm. Think of a word, and we will be asking you yes or no questions. I will be asking questions in Polish, okay. uh, and Laura, you will be asking uh, Ildar uh, okay. questions in Russian, and we will try to identify what he's thinking about. Okay. Okay. Does that sound right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So let's let's try that. Mm -hmm. uh, so whenever you're ready, Ildar. I'm ready. Okay. To moje pierwsze pytanie po polsku. We're switching to, to Slavic languages now for, for a little bit. Czy to jest rzecz? Uh, da. Laura? Mnie nada si čas dawać po prostu. Da. No, um, no ja nie panila po polsku. <laughs> ty możesz powtórzyć. Ja nie panila, uh, że ty spresił. Uh, uh, Norbert, Norbert спросил, является ли это некоторой вещью? Окей. Что я могу сейчас спросить? Um, это... Ну, я не знаю, у меня инспирации нет <laughs> сейчас. Ага. Мне надо подумать. Подожди. Чили то есть какой предмет? Предмет речь? Так, так. Угу, угу. Угу. Ну, это, например, это человек или предмет, или, ну, я не могу так спросить, подожди. Где это находится? Но это я тоже не могу спросить. Просто да, нет, да? Ох, это трудно. Трудно, трудно. Трудно подумать просто и... Подожди. Что я могу спросить? Ну, это можно есть? Нет. Окей. Чи ужива се тего в кухни? Нет. Это не находится в кухне, да? Нет, это не находится на кухне, это не используется на кухне. Mm. Ну, это, это может быть использоваться на кухне, но кухня не имеет отношения. Mm. Mm. Но это находится в доме? А... 
Ну, da, można tak sobie, da. Dobrze, to jest coś, co znajduje się w domu. Czy jest to jakiś mebel? Nie. Ty możesz po rusku сейчас. Ja nie pamięla, co to jest mobil, mebel. Это 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 не мебель. Это не мебель. О. Окей. Это не мебель. Это можно использовать для закрыть дому? Нет. Чтобы закрыть, да? Нет. Нет, нет, нет. Чи є то щось дужого? Ні, це не велике. Це можна теж використовувати на роботі? Так. Чи можна цього вживати до праці? Так? Так. Da. Można tego używać do pracy. Czy jest, czy, czy żeby można było tego używać do pracy, potrzebny jest prąd? A, ostatnie słowo. Prąd elektryczny, elektryczność. O. Czy potrzebny, czy potrzebna elektryczność, A. czy niepotrzebna? A, nie, nie. Elektryczność dla tego nie potrzebna. Ja myślałam, że to komputer, ale już nie. Co ja mogę zapytać? To można zastosować, kiedy ty coś piszesz? Tak. Tak? Ja, ja czytałam komentarz i dlatego to mi pomaga. I cheated. Dobrze, to znaczy moja kolej, moja, moja kolej, tak? Aha. Jest to coś, czego można używać do pisania. Da. Tak, da. do pisania, to znaczy yy, czy jest to twarde? Czy to coś jest twarde? Mm. Ну, в целом, да. Ну, это, ну... Ну, я просто читала, кто-то комментировал. И, ну, может быть, это... Ну, это рубачка? Нет? Ну, да, по-русски это ручка. Ручка, ручка, сори. Дугопис, так? Дугопис. Это значит, что... Laura odgadła, wygrała. Da, da. No ja, I cheated really, to be honest. Like I read it on the comments. No worries, no worries. But you know, you got. Nikto nie gwaril, że to nie lzia, po jedno mu ja prosto czytałam komentarze. I forgot to mention not to read the comments. I forgot about introducing that rule, but it's you know, it's fine. Da. No i to dla mnie była bardzo trudna, pani mat tybie Norbert. Da. Da, ja prosto poniela prosto 20%, što ti govoril. Pa je tamo... Ok. I had to cheat. That's fine, you know. You do what you have to do, you know, to win the game. Yes. Ok. So, you know, actually I just came up with a challenge. You know, because, Laura, you are a polyglot, you speak multiple languages, so maybe we could put you to a test. Oh my God, okay. You know, you know, it's going to be just a fun challenge. Yeah, okay. So I am going to... Do you have your phone at hand just so I can send you a message on Instagram? Yes, yes. So I'm going to send you a word for you to describe to Ildar. Oh my God. Okay. In Russian, and we will see if you will be able to explain that word to him uh, in one minute. You're gonna have one minute. Oh my God! Okay. And yeah. you will have to just improvise and make sure that uh, Ildar understands it. So uh, okay. uh, I, I think we should uh, uh, note that uh, probably there should be no words with the same root. Um, in explanations. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so Laura, she, she's not going to uh, tell you the, the word itself. She's just yeah. going to tell you what it is like 
it's going to be like a taboo game. Like you can, you're not allowed okay. to say that word. So you're going to have one uh, minute for explaining, and you, Ildar, uh, you can uh, ask questions in Russian. You can have like a conversation to make sure that okay. you understand. Give yourself one minute, okay? So use that one minute, even if you understand it like immediately, because after the one minute, we will have the time to reveal what word it it was. Um, yeah, I think it's 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 pretty clear. So so to all of you watching, you know, if you speak. Swedish, uh, German, um, what else? Uh, Catalan, Spanish. Catalan, Spanish. Those, those French, are like Italian. Uh, French, Italian, maybe, you know, because, you know, you, you are, since you're a native of Catalan and Spanish, <laughs> that would be too easy. You don't want to make it easy for me, huh? <laughs> yeah, so oh, Fran French, Italian, so we have four. And we, 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 you know, even even Russian speakers can call, so we can uh, we can have more uh, challenges like that. You know, maybe we're gonna do more than one word in Russian. Okay. Uh, so let me just quickly think about the um, the word. Uh, 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 um, mm -hmm. Maybe meanwhile, when I'm thinking about the word, Laura, you could tell us a little bit about your experience with Russian, how you've been learning it and how long uh, you've been learning it. Ну, как я начинала учить русский язык уже 8 лет или 9 лет назад, но в начале я просто использовала Duolingo, потом я думала, ладно, буду в школе, но это было не очень много, потом я решила, вот, ладно, буду три раза в неделю учить, и много учила до А2 уровня, мне кажется, и потом это было слишком много просто с работой и так далее, я поняла, что это было для меня слишком много, и решила просто учить раз в неделю, у меня сейчас э, уже пять или шесть лет э, раз в неделю урок по-русски, и поэтому я не стала намного лучше, но просто я, ну, у меня друзья здесь в Германии, которые говорят по-русски, мне важно, ну, тоже с ними э, говорить э, по-русски, почему нет, и, ну, просто, да, это, не знаю, если это было ясно, но просто я учила, и потому что я много людей знаю, которые говорят по-русски, и, ну, да. <laughs> учу сейчас раз в неделю, но тоже я не хотела стать, я не знаю, очень хорошо, я просто хотела, э, я хочу просто общаться, больше мне не надо, просто, да. Да, ну, <laughs> главное, чтобы было понятно, ну, все, все, все что ты говоришь, все, все понятно. Да, супер. Да, это что я умею в виду, что это не всегда сто процентов. Да, и, например, русский очень сложный язык. Грамматика, конечно, для меня была кошмар, можно сказать, <laughs> в начале, потому что просто очень трудно. Но все равно для меня самое важное, что я могу общаться с людьми, и поэтому это хватает для меня. Я никогда не, не думала, мне надо, ну, например, как Я живу в Германии, и когда я э, учила э, немецкий, я хотела стать очень-очень хорошо. Э, Уробен С2, наверное. Но это тоже не получилось, потому что я... Э, да, потом решила, что это лучше просто говорить больше <laughs> языки, не только один язык э, очень хорошо, и потому что мне нравится учить новые языки просто, да. Mm -hmm. Да. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, Lara. So I, I'm sending you uh, the word that you need to describe. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Uh huh. You you got it. Mm. Oh wait, I have it on like um um uh, plain mode, so I didn't get it. That's why. Ah. Uh, uh -huh, okay. 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 Ah, now. No, now. Mm. Now you get it. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's not that easy. <laughs> mm, I, you know, we, you you impressed me by when you started speaking about your experience with Russian, and I decided, okay, we have to make it a little bit more oh, challenging. Oh, it's очень трудно, да. 
Uh, yeah, okay, okay. So, we, we've got that. So, mm. you're going uh, in a moment, you're going to have one minute to explain that word. Uh, Ildar, could you remind us how to pronounce your name? Uh, Ildar. 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 Ildar, yes. Yes, so you, you can ask questions and don't don't say the answer until we come back to this screen. Um, this screen, yes, we're gonna be back to this screen and we're going to uh, reveal the answer at the end, okay? Ah, uh, okay, no. Okay, so let's get ready. Mm. Okay, oh, это можно использовать, когда у тебя есть Два кровата, и один это uh, высокий, и другой uh, на поле. И тебе надо это, чтобы uh, идти на второй этаже, можно сказать. Um, да. Um, <laughs> да, или у тебя есть, например, первый этаж, второй этаж, и чтобы идти на второй этаж, тебе надо это использовать. Mm. Если ты хочешь туда uh, ходить пешком, uh, без этого не можешь. Ну, mm. no. <laughs> yeah, да. это не м, нормально, как в здании, но, например, когда где-то, как сказать, стройка, в начале надо, ну, может быть, это использовать. <laughs> Oh, that was hard. Oh. Yes, that was hard. Let me just uh, find where we are. I'm yeah. Just, oh, what just... happened? He's gone. Oh, he's still no, here. He, he's still here. <laughs> okay. Good. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Okay. So, uh, Ildar, what yeah, is no. the word? Я думаю, что это лестница. The stairs. Yes and no, right? I wasn't sure, Norbert, because you you wrote ladder, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that's why ah, first okay. I described like the two beds, right? I didn't know how to say that, but then well, I'm like first first etage, uh, like first floor, second floor, but it wasn't really the stairs, but it it's almost yeah. I didn't know how to describe yeah. the ladder, so that's why I tried with this construction work, but I don't. I'm not sure I used the right word for that. Uh, uh... Uh, anyway, the ladder and stairs are the same word in Russian. Oh, oh, sh they... I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that. that... Mm -hmm. So, so what, what, what is the word in in Russian? So, lestnitsa. So, lestnitsa. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that same word in Spanish or Catalan. Yeah, escala, escalera. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And in Polish, it's going to be drabina. Mm -hmm. Drabina. Mm -hmm. Drabina. Mm -hmm. uh, aha, 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 aha. That was hard. <laughs> yes, I think I see. Um, With the countdown. Yeah, yeah. I see many, many uh, people in the comment section. They all started sending their answers. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. So you all got it. Congratulations, La Laura. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> that, that was a difficult word. That was a difficult word. So, you know, guys, uh, if you want to call in and test Laura's skills tonight, <laughs> you're welcome to call in. Uh, yeah, but that was good. That was really, really good challenge. Uh, yeah. So what about uh, you, Ildar? You speak Russian, English, Ukrainian, and Polish. Mm. So what about Polish? Like, is Polish your... Um, uh, how long have you I, been I, studying? I, mm -hmm. um, uh, I didn't really study it. I, I just... I, I was uh, uh, improving my skills passively. Like, I, I was just interested in, in, in Polish and... I think mm -hmm. my level is about B1, I think, or or less. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I understand m m uh, almost everything what pol uh, what people say in Polish, but uh, I'm not that good in speaking, but I can try. So what we can do, 
Mm, we can play the, the same game that we, we started off with. So I'm going to th think of a word and you're going to ask yes or no questions. Um, mm. But is that going to test uh, your... So, so Ildar, your, your knowledge of Polish is kind of more passive, right? You don't speak yeah. that much. Uh, no, 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 something like that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Maybe Norbert, you could describe a word in Polish, and then we try to kind of guess it. Yes, yes. I, I I'm just uh, thinking about that. So we are going to do that. Uh, in I'm probably not time. understanding anything, but it's um, it's fun. We can play. <laughs> yes, I, I mean that's going to be interesting to see. I'm just what what I just need to do is maybe. Or maybe not. We can just stick to to this screen. So just let me think about the word. Um, mm, mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Okay. One moment. Yeah, can you hear that music? Yeah. Yes, so this is for uh, the time when I'm thinking about the word. <laughs> ah. Uh, so give me a second. I need to go through my list. What would be good? Okay, I think I'm ready. Okay, so the rules of the game, the r rules of the, this challenge is that I'm going to describe a w word to you in Polish. You can ask questions in Russian, clarifying questions. So Laura, especially you, if you don't understand something, you can ask about, for clarification <laughs> okay. about something, okay? And I'm not allowed to read the comments, right? I'll make them go away try not to try not to <laughs> okay. unless unless you're gonna get super desperate then i will allow it <laughs> yeah so so yeah let's do that uh, and ildar you just ask questions in russian as well or in polish um stick to russians for now for, for, okay. to Russian, Help okay? me. <laughs> for, for this yeah uh, for this particular uh, challenge Dobrze, więc uwaga. Jest to rzecz, której używamy do podróży. Jest to pojazd. Pojazd, którego używamy do przemieszczania się z jednego miejsca na drugie. Tak? Jest to coś, co wymaga wymaga bardzo dużych inwestycji, tak? Żeby móc zbudować taki pojazd, trzeba zainwestować bardzo dużo pieniędzy. Tak? Nie jest to pojazd, którego używamy na co dzień. Tak? Nie używamy tego codziennie. Nie używamy tego codziennie. I nie, nie każdy może tym pojazdem podróżować. Nie każdy może być w mhm. tym mm, pojeździe. Tak? Laura, rozumiesz? Ja, ja nie znam. Ja panila, że to jest pojazd i nie wszyscy mogą jechać na tym pojeździe? Ili ta pojeźdźka może być? Od, uh, ja znaczy, no, e, to to nie pojazd, ponieważ że to po polsku pojazd będzie pociąg. To nie pojazd. Mm -hmm. da... mm -hmm. Ale to jest ta kategoria słów. To jest ta kategoria słów. Da? Pojazd, to, czyli... To, mm -hmm. to nie który transport, ja tak polegają. Środek transportu. No nie wszystkie mogą. Nie wszystkie mogą na tym transporcie. Da. Nie, nie każdy może na tym transporcie podróżować. Oh. Это, это очень это, дорого. Да, это bardzo drogie, bardzo drogie są bilety i y, tylko y, najbogatsi ludzie mogą 
A, to może być, uh, no. Jeszcze, jeszcze nie odpowiada, jeszcze, jeszcze. Mm, sorry. <laughs> Mo, e, masz jakieś pytania? Pytania, Laura? Pytania, to jest? No, uh, już. To вопрос. A, pytania, a. No, po rusku pytania, to jak. No, co ty kuszesz? Da? Это a false friend. <laughs> sorry. Это. No. Вопрос много. <laughs> Dobrze, to um, za, zada, zadawaj, zadawaj pytania, Laura. Uh-huh. Um, uh, na przykład, eta, ty możesz w tym transportie latać? Tak, możesz latać tym transportem. Uh-huh. Mm. Okej. Okay. Myślę, że zrozumiałem. A, ja думаю, że ja poniął. Aha, czyli nie masz więcej pytań, Ildar. No, no. A, a u niego nie krylów. Czy to już jest odpowiedź, czy jeszcze nie? Nie, nie, nie. Это, это вопрос. Значит, это вопрос. Mm-hmm. У этого транспорта нет крыльев. Mm, a co to jest? Nie, nie, nie rozumiem, co to jest. Może, może a, Laura, nie. czy ty rozumiesz, co to jest? No, no ja nie znaję, ja nie pamiętam, to co... Um, Krydzie? Co ty spra- sprasil teraz? Poslednie a... słowa, ja nie pamiętam. Mm-hmm. Krylia. Krylia, no ja nie znam słowa. Może wytłumacz nam, Ildar, po rosyjsku, co to a, znaczy? A, 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 s, a, s, a, skrzydła. Skrzydła. Mm-hmm. Okay. Po polsku skrzydła, a, 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 a po rosyjsku jak to a, wytłumaczysz? A, okay. uh-huh. a, I, forgot, I forgot this in English. Da. No nie um, ważne, prosto ja думаю, um, że może być ja znam, no... Это будет ну, просто такой гэс. Птаки, знаю, птаки мою скрыдла. Птаки да, мою скрыдла. Да. Птаки мою скрыдла. Птицы. Птица. Uh, у, у птиц mm-hmm. есть у птиц есть крылья. А, окей, понятно. Но 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 у этого вида транспорта крыльев нет. Не ма, не ма скрыдл. Пшинами не сон типовые скрыдла. Не. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To... A, ja думаю, to, że ja znaju. Mm-hmm. No ja nie znaju słowo po ruski. <laughs> mm-hmm. To jeszcze dodam ostatnią wskazówkę, że jest to że jest to środek transportu, który e, którym możemy przenieść się e, na przykład na inne ciała niebieskie. Na przykład na Księżyc, możemy polecieć na Księżyc, możemy polecieć na Międzynarodową Stację Kosmiczną. A teraz u czasu mnie zmienił się odpowiedź. A? No proszę. Aha. Czy macie jeszcze jakieś pytania, czy już chcecie zgadywać? Ну, такой еще вопрос. Занимается ли подобными проектами Илон Маск? И, так, займуешься такими проектами тоже. Ага, ага. Чи уж тарас вядомо? Лаура, Лаура, чи веш? Я, я поняла сейчас. Я думала это, ну, я сейчас, ну, буду... Uh, у меня будет другая ответ, другой ответ, да. Добже. Элон Маск <laughs> история, да. Добже, то начинаем в таком разе. Uh, Лаура, я, какая есть твоя ответ? Ну, я это слово не знаю по-русски. Я вначале думала это, um, ну, в первый я думала это private jet, потом я думаю это helicopter, и сейчас я думаю это rock, rocket. Mm-hmm. Но я по-русски это все не знаю. <laughs> Tak, a Ildar, jak to będzie po rosyjsku? Uh, uh, rakieta. Rakieta, rakieta, tak? Uh, rakieta. Tak, i po polsku, po polsku to też jest rakieta. Będzie widać? O, jest. Rakieta. Uh-huh. Rakieta. Uh, no dobrze, a uh, and what about other words in, in Russian? The helicopter and private jet? Uh, s- samolot, no, li- li- частный samolot, Aha. либо uh, i vertolot, it's for helicopter. 
Wiertalot. Aha. 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 Ciekawe. So we've learned something today. Uh, okay, very good. And we have some questions. Uh, Olympus Gaming is asking where is the link to join. So let me explain. The link is in the description uh, box. You, you need to register first to get access to the link though. So just in case, you know, I need to contact you later, I need to have your contact details. So, so that's why you have to register to participate. Uh, yeah, so there is that. So that was a challenge. That was a challenge. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Laura, what do you think about Polish language? Beautiful, but really difficult to understand. <laughs> yeah, and also a lot of kind of false friends, right? Like this, at first you, I thought you were talking about a type of train because I thought it was like poised. And, oh, yes, and then I in thought, Polish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And mm -hmm. like then the way you ask, do you have any question? I thought you were asking about food, which makes no sense. But I was like, I'm still stuck in, you know, these Russian words I know. And then it's just like, huh? What's that? But yeah, it well, was fun. Uh, you should interest the word, so, uh, pytanie. Pytanie, so, tak. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, uh, so th there is difference. Uh, so, uh, not uh, every non-Slavic speaker, native speakers, can uh, distinguish between U and E. U and mm. E. Ah, aha. To yeah. Pytanie or pytanie. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, uh, Laura was thinking about the word pytanie. So it's like, um, yeah, nutrition. Yeah, exactly. A, to, to jest pitanie, tak? Pitanie, a nie pytanie. A, rozumiem, rozumiem. Stąd, stąd uh, that's why there was a problem. And Claudio, he's not this very interesting problem here. What does wierto in wiertolet mean? Um, it's... Uh... So, um, uh, yeah, so uh, 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 there is a verb uh, vertieć. Uh -huh. so it, uh -huh. it, it means uh, to spin. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or może drill, to drill. Probably. No, no it's, it's more like to, uh, to spin, I think. To sp uh, może po so in Russian it might be that. like in, Because in Polish, uh, wiertło means to drill it's a drill the thing that you attach to a dr driller to drill in the wall uh, for example uh -huh. so it it uh spins uh, as well uh, is there a word in polish like uh, wiercić? Uh, wiercić, wiercić. Mm -hmm. wiercić. Mm -hmm. yeah there is a word mm -hmm. uh, wiercić w ścianie można wiercić dziurę uh. w ścianie mm -hmm. uh. Po prostu to swierlić. Swierlić, aha, aha, no. aha. To trochę inaczej. Uh, tak, and uh, in Polish that would be śmigło. To co, in mm. helicopter the, 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 the part that moves around is śmigło. Mm -hmm. e, a, uh, just relax is helping out with the meaning of the word verto, means to spin, twirl, twirl też as well uh, interesting good 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 so uh, is anyone else is going to call us today for the challenge uh, mm -hmm. yeah Laura speaks many more languages that we could test her on or we could improvise a different challenge depending on who who's going to call we are going to hang out for another like 10 minutes probably or, or something like that so if you want uh, to call yeah um, I have a tiny knowledge of German and Finnish, so Ooh. if... Okay, uh, it's, so... It's like, it's, like, it's like a tiny knowledge. Uh, do you think you would be able to explain a word? Um, uh, no, no uh, uh, I, I can... In German, I will be only able to understand, but not to explain, I think. Okay, so maybe, maybe mm -hmm. Laura, yeah, you could uh, try to explain that, mm -hmm. a word. Uh, Maybe one of the words yeah. that you've prepared to <coughs> yeah. Ildar so he can test his knowledge of German. That's also going mm -hmm. to be a fun challenge then. And you also, okay. are we going to give you um, 
uh, a time limit. Yeah, yeah, maybe one minute. Do you, Laura, do you think one minute is going to be enough? Yeah, I think so. I have a kind of, I think, easy word, which I can explain fast. Okay. But with slow German. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Super. okay. Good. Good. So let me just Perfect. switch uh, switch to the the other screen. So Lara, you're going to have one minute, and Ilda, try to respond in German if you ask any questions or clarifications. Oh, okay. I'll try. Just try. You know, do your best. Yeah, okay. okay. Ready? <laughs> es ist etwas, was man isst. Und es ist kalt. Man isst das im Sommer. Und die Kinder lieben das zu essen. Wenn man äh, am Strand ist oder mhm. irgendwo im Sommer, essen die Leute das sehr gerne. Und das kommt, <lacht> ich weiß nicht, ob Norbert lacht, es kommt aus Italien, glaube ich, ursprünglich. Aha. Und es ist lecker. Es gibt in verschiedenen Sorten. Es gibt... Äh, Schokolade, Vanille, Erdbeer, alles Mögliche. Es gibt viele verschiedene Sorten. Ich weiß nicht mehr, was ich sagen soll. Also, äh, ähm, hast äh, du Fragen? Äh, 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 ich weiß nicht, wie kann ich äh, sagen? Wie, wie kann ich sagen? Auf Englisch. Vielleicht. In German. Um, so I didn't expect that I understand everything. Wow, cool. <laughs> Yay, that's that's good. So what is your answer then? Uh, that is ice cream. Oh. Yeah. Uh, auf Deutsch sagt man das Eis uh, oder Speiseeis, uh, kann man auch sagen. Speise. Yeah, uh, Speise, I, I don't remember. Speiseeis oder Eis. Yeah. Oh. Lass uns Eis essen gehen. It's like, yeah, yeah. cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And how how uh, is that in Russian? Uh, Morozhne. Morozhne. Mm -hmm. uh, in Polish, it's lut. Oh. Lut. Or ah. lut or lode, lode. Maybe like plural. I, I, uh, in Russian, the lod is just ice. Yes, in Polish, lut is ice, but it's also ref it could refer to ice cream, especially if you use mm -hmm. it as plural, lode. Ah. In yeah. Roman's language, like most of them, like it comes from from gelato, right? So in Catalan mm. we say gelat, and in Spanish we say helado. But I think in French they say glass. If I'm not wrong, but maybe someone can in glass that. in French. I think so, but yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, yeah, someone glass is his eyes. Netherlands, maybe it's in in in, uh, ah. in Dutch. Uh -huh. Possibly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, I think it's glass. Glass. G L A C E. La glass. Uh, someone wrote it. So I think it's, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, la glass. Okay, nice. uh -huh. I see. I see. That's the answer. Uh... But cool that you could understand it. Yes. Uh, I didn't. I, I really didn't expect that I understand everything. It's, yes. Cool. It was. It, I, I thought that my German level is uh, a lot worse, so I I, uh, I couldn't uh, say everything by myself, but anything by myself. But uh, I I was surprised that I understood uh, almost every word. Cool. Good. So that was just too easy then. So maybe oh, no. uh, maybe Laura, what you could do, because you know I, oh, I, I I know bits and, and pieces of German, and you know I also speak English, so oh. it, it's 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 a Germanic language, so that's helpful. Mm -hmm. So maybe Laura, you could try to uh, describe a word to us in a Swedish. Oh my God! But Swedish okay. is not good. <laughs> Sweet. That's 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 interesting. Going to be interesting, and let's see. Maybe also people in the the comment section could participate, and we're going oh, wow. to see who is who is going to win this round. Mm -hmm. uh, do you need one minute, or do you think you, you would need some more time, like maybe one and a half or two minutes to explain this? Um, I, I like my Swedish is not so good, right? Like I am supposed to explain this in Swedish. Uh, I mean, I can try it. I don't mind. No, but... You can try. You don't have to be perfect. You know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me think. Okay. Um, yeah. 
unless there is a Swedish person that wants to call us in right now and you know uh, save you from this task. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's go Swedish. People lo love the idea. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Are you ready, Laura? Oh my God! Yeah. Okay. Let's try it. <laughs> uh, so, how much time do you need? Pooh. Um, I don't know. Um, like, let's make it one thirty, and maybe I run out of words before that. <laughs> but... uh, okay, okay. So let's do that. Mm -hmm. uh, let me let me do this one more time, so we can start it. Yeah. Uh... Just nu använder du den här objektet. The, the anvender um, varje person uh, nu för tiden. Uh, det behöver du om du vill använda internet. Det behöver du om du vill jobba. Det behöver du hela tiden kan man säga. Till exempel om du har ett, en Youtube-kanal behöver du den här objektet uh, jättemycket. Och uh, om du tittar på den här videon just nu behöver du också den här objektet. Och det, behö det behöver uh, el, elektricitet, uh, uh, om uh, att funka och det är väldigt bra. Det fanns inte... Ja, mm, mm, uh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. Uh, uh, det finns bara mm, 30 år. Det, det fanns inte... Mm, jag vet inte. När det um, har... Uh, börjat att uh, användas, men nu för tiden är det jätteviktigt uh, uh, varje person behöver uh, den här objektet på jobbet och på, på skolan, jag vet inte, men um, det behöver du om du är youtuber, om du tittar på Youtube, behöver du den här objektet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Okej, okay, so let's give the, the chance to Ildar. I have understand that that's something about job, YouTube, and school. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. so there, there was some object, but I didn't get, get anything yeah. more. Well, I, I was very global, but yeah, actually, I think it could be different things. Like, it could be more than one thing, but I was meaning one thing, so... A lot of people are writing in the comments. So uh, let me let me uh, see. Uh, people are suggesting uh, like date data. Da yes, yes, that's it. In that's in Swedish. Yes. Ah, so data is that a computer? Yes. Okay, and there was some answer like like internet, phone. Oh, it's computer, guys. Just relax. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh. Alex is suggesting TV. Uh, yeah, so computer. Hmm. I mean, to be fair, it could have also been a telephone or someone suggested a modem or router. It could have also been, but because I was lacking the words to like specify, like, oh. ah, it has, you know, a keyword or, um, yeah. It's uh -huh. interesting, purist moment in, in Swedish, so usually most languages have computer just as a computer. Yeah. As, as, mm -hmm. So, so it's in Russian or. Yeah, so I, I like that 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 they're using like a different word. It's kind of cool. Uh, so, how do you pronounce it, uh, Laura? Oh, I'm not an expert. I think it's dator. Dator. Uh huh. But yeah. I, I'm not really like starting to learn Swedish. Well, I've learned it like for ten months. Uh -huh. Isn't there some kind of uh, double stress like they use in Swedish? Uh, they do sometimes? this singing thing, but I'm not good yeah. at that yet. Like, mm -hmm. dator, dator, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. So I cannot do that yet. But it was fun. It, it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. It was really fun. It, it was uh, interesting. I, I was, I was, I have uh, understood that. Uh, there was a route a job with seemingly was something about job 
Ja, I think I said uh, do unwender do unwender then her objekte po jobet like mm -hmm. at your job. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. That what's really interesting about Swedish uh which uh surprised me is that you put the article after the noun, right? So if you say um mm. språket like the language mm. but språk is language but the is mm. et in that case so like you say språket I mean, I'm pro probably pronouncing that wrong, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you put it at the end, like it's, uh, even the, uh, like, uh, like you would be saying language the instead, instead of the language, right? Mm, mm -hmm. so, that's, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, in Balkan, in some Balkan states like Romania and uh, Bulgaria, so in, in Romania and Bulgaria, so I heard there also are uh, uh, articles that uh, are um, in are in the endings of the words, like, um, mm -hmm. for example, uh, cat is kotka in mm. Bulgarian, and, and uh, the cat is kotkata. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In Bulgarian, that's uh, it's very interesting that Bulgarian has uh, uh, definite articles in the first place, you know, because it's not very common in Slavic languages. Um, yeah. Yeah, so actually I just realized, because when you were talking, I, I, I was looking at the chat that apparently there is no link in the description box for anyone to join us today. Oh, no. Uh, I think that when I was going live, I just didn't choose the right, uh, the, the scheduled stream that I had. I just went live spontaneously like that. Uh, so it created like a new stream f f for this. So so because Ildar was uh, in the show before, he had the link, yeah. so he joined us. So um, what can we do about it now? Because uh, I think that we will have to finish the show now because it's been you know it's been uh, over an hour. So uh, for everybody who was were trying and wanted to to uh, join us today, I'm sorry for my mistake. You know. You should have written that earlier in the in the comment section so i would know and i would add the <laughs> link you know uh but i just learned about it so that's um that's a shame you know but uh you know we can try again we can try again uh maybe uh next week or or in in, in some some coming days uh maybe i'll i will um, go live this weekend as well but, but i don't want to commit yet so maybe i shouldn't say that <laughs> uh, just you know subscribe hit the notification bell and you're gonna know when i'm going live uh so yeah. uh, for now thank you thank you so much for participation uh okay let's let's wrap it up for tonight it's been so much fun uh, I hope you uh, have a wonderful weekend and I want to see you uh, again soon and hopefully next time I'm going to have the link and, and everything ready. Uh, if not, please do let me know because I can always uh, update it during the stream. But that's too late now, so I'm a bit disappointed. But anyways, have a great weekend. Bye.